and Doug Foley. We got a little local sponsorship from the folks at Laird Noller. Laird Noller Customs. If you got a truck that you want to either hop up or spiff up, stop by and see them. They do everything from uh, literally mechanical work to window tint at Laird Noller Customs, a local company here in the Topeka area. They're helping Doug Foley keeping up and down the road. This is an interesting matchup. Aaron Brooks is working with Doug Foley down there. He is a guy that has been around the sport a long time, very knowledgeable, and he has tuned Doug already to a final round this year. When that car comes out, and it runs about half the events on tour, but it's always one that is difficult to deal with. These two cars in qualifying were separated by about a hundredth of a second. So, so far, this looks like our closest matchup on paper. So far, our closest matchup down the racetrack has been that Doug Coletta and Tony Schumacher match. But Leah Pruitt knows she cannot take Doug lightly. She's been building a little momentum out on the Western Swing with the win in Denver and then went rounds at both Sonoma and Seattle. And she wants to try to keep that going as she tries to climb her way into the top five in the point standings. Foley in the right side, Leah in the left. Whoa, a little smoke here, a little smoke there, and Leah is able to pedal her way through. 416, 4.161, 264 miles an hour for the win. Doug Foley goes 514 at 139 miles an hour. Foley puffed the tires first, Leah second, but she had enough momentum to get there down to Joe. Down here with Smoke, Leah was working the throttle like Donnie Schatz at the Knoxville Nationals. She got the win light, that's what matters. Congratulations last night, and you're going to the next round. Thanks, yeah, it's a been a co pretty cool 24 hours so far so uh, glad to be here wasn't gonna miss today for the world but I couldn't miss the Knoxville Nationals last night so proud of our guys and uh, proud of both of our teams here too looking forward to a good day take another look at this one on the NHRA.tv replay right there you see a puff of smoke for Kyle and then Leah's car moments later loses traction she's able to pedal it and get her to the stripe and she will advance to the next round. That is the first wisp of tire smoke we've seen off of that Mopar car all weekend long. Well, I have got seven entrants into round number two. I only got one open spot left. 